universal stages of expression. Let's say the expansive expression of matter is like a rose. Each petal a different plane of expansion, so we can say it's multidimensional. Each plane of expansion has its function in the whole. What we can see as a flower, the flower petal by itself is not the flower. One plane of expansion is not a representation in all in whole, as a petal is not the representation of the whole. Each petal shares the same similarity in appearance, but they are at the same time distinct by itself, as the plane of existence can even be appearing the same, but different by its expression. What we see as a dimension is more so an expression that makes the whole a beautiful flower of expressions. If an expression can thrive on one plane, as you see as a petal, one expression can expand in one plane and maybe not in another plane. So one expression can expand on one plane, but on another hand cannot expand necessarily on another plane. Whatever the similarity, the matrix of expression in one petal, one plane, can be at the same time similar or totally removed from its similarity, even if in the whole, we can say each expression is the same for human understanding of what we call, in the whole, a rose. Therefore, to comprehend, we have to remove our human understanding and our main wondering, which is, for the human grade of understanding, of a reasoning for the why. It's difficult to make us understand matter expansion from a human point of view because everything we comprehend within our reasoning is through a question with why. Whatever the expansion in matter, in one sense, can express itself in each plane or each petal, but it cannot be seen from a human point of view as to why. As an example, if an individual expression as me or you expands the self in one dimension, one plane, one petal as you want to qualify, expressions cannot be qualified, quantified of human understanding of what expansion is. What I am today, what you are today, as an expression in a different dimension, plane or petal, can be totally different or the same. It's difficult to explain because the human concept for his understanding what it is to be the same of expansion of you and I on a different plane in another expansion will narrow the full understanding. What we see as an understanding of our present expansion is in a frame, where in the reality for the expression of matter, there's no such thing as a frame. What you are in your present plane of expression, dimension, can be the same or absolutely removed from what you are in another dimension. As much as you were yesterday, are today, and will be tomorrow in what you can expand, it can be on another plane as a flying bird in the sky, swimming fish in water, stationary rock on a mountain. But also it can be in the same way a mist of gas, an ion or cosmic dust expanding on the universe of another plane. Even also, it can be an absolutely inconceivable understanding from our human point of view by being of an appearing form, consistency or expression totally removed from what we can grasp. In the end, our personal understanding and a concept of the rose as a final outcome to be the rose and what is in all and whole. The beauty of expression is to grasp the final understanding of the beauty of all and whole in its fullness as a beauty of the rose and not make a distinction in each petal or dimension. <laughs>